Yeah, it, it is him again, so it's not a separate leopard. I'm just going to let the other vehicle go ahead for a while because we've spent quite a lot of time with him. So I'm just going to follow him through to the corner and then let uh, the other vehicle go ahead. But we will stay with him. Maybe to pause So the other guy, other guy also agrees with me he might be going to drink, so we're gonna stick with him. Unfortunately, at the moment, there's not much space for two vehicles, but once it passes through the Morwati, um, it should be much easier sighting for both of us. see him for. There's no mighty down here so I'm not sure what he's doing. Yeah, I'm just gonna just try to see what he's doing. I um, mean he's just in this hollow here. I'm not sure what he's doing him for, there's no mighty there, but he's inside this hole just sniffing.
going into quite a difficult spot there. I don't want to trap him between the two vehicles. So we're just going to stand by. Sorry, Roy, what is he doing? Having a snooze. Oh, look, he, he went to where the elephants have been digging for water. Okay, the boy. Sorry, Brian, go again. So he's come to check if there was water in there. I'm not sure whether he found any. doesn't look like it. Oh, he's going to... He's having a look where the elephants have been digging for water. I just keep very still, Alex. I need is a bit snarly when he walks past the car. I think he is going to drink in the next five minutes. There's a pan close by, so maybe we extend it a little. So guys, um, we are going to try extend for a little bit. I think he is going to drink in the next few minutes. So um, that's what we're going to do. What's the light? Sorry, I can't see behind you. So we lost him in the grass, he must have decided he was quite thirsty after eating. So he's come out and he's moving towards, there is a pan quite close by, actually where we saw the buffalo uh, at the start of the drive. from North Carolina. Kay would like to know whether I'll be able to show you the Southern Cross. Um, I most certainly should be able to. I could probably do it when we close off tonight. I can just see it in the coming up over the horizon.
checking all the dry water holes. That one's also dry. The one with water is actually to my right. that what we're doing is now on Twin Dams Road um, heading south. He has hoisted um, the bomber in the drainage line off in Yala Road South. Uh, probably about 50 percent. He's checked another dry water hole and now looks like he might take my advice and head back towards the one that I said had water. No. Nope. Yes, he's coming straight at us. I'm pretty sure he's going to head to that um, water hole where we had those two buffalo bulls um, right at the beginning of drive. We actually started started from there this afternoon. I'm sure he's going to head to that mighty. There's a, a pan just to the north of you there that, that, that's got mighty in it. Spotlights or headlights good, Alex?
Have a good evening, everyone. think a leopard can smell water? Um, I would say yes, probably. Um, not as well as one would think. So guys, I'm just going to have to scoot around because he's heading to the water and we want to be there when he drinks. Um, left the road and he's on his way into this. Sorry Julia, yes, I do think leopards are able to smell water. Let's find my spotlight. Where did I put it? There he comes guys. Isn't that a magnificent sighting, guys? I feel incredibly, incredibly lucky to do what I do for a living. even hear him gulping the water.
sorry about the clicking of my camera guys it's just such an amazing sighting He's a thirsty boy. See the light catching his eye there. I know I've had some good sightings of leopards since I've been here but this one is fast becoming my my top sighting of leopards since I've been here what do you think Alex? it was definitely my best sighting in many years oh, oh stunning oh he heard something We could not have asked for a more magnificent last sighting for the drive. Very thirsty boy. It just doesn't seem to stop today.
Look at that reflection, guys. Isn't that incredible? Two leopards. Sorry about the clicking, it's just two an amazing shot to not photograph. Wow, that is incredible. Could not have asked for a better model. See how important it is to, to know about animals' habits. So as soon as we found, or Roy found him on the road, and he'd left the kill, we knew he was going to go for a drink. And also knowing the area, the fact that we knew that this water was right here. Okay, I think he's probably not going to do too much more. Um, so I'm just going to move a little bit away from the other vehicle. And then um, we're going to say goodnight, but we will be going back to check on him first thing in the morning. I haven't. It's literally just above him. I can just, unfortunately, there's a tree, so I can only see one of the pointers. That's why I'm moving. And then Brian has just reminded me I haven't forgotten about the Southern Cross. No, I haven't forgotten about the stars, guys. Don't worry. Um, I just want to move away. We couldn't see the Southern Cross from where we were. But uh, maybe I, I'm not going to do too many stars tonight. We'll just do the Southern Cross for this evening. Let me just get out of this area. Don't worry, Raisa. You will get to see your stars. Wait a few seconds for Roy to move out of the area um, because his light will hide the stars. I'm just going to say it. Um, Roy. Thanks very much. Good sighting. <laughs>